went to Ocean Park today and then now we are at a restaurant eating noodles. Um, so what you do is you come here and then they have like menu and then you circle what you want. So you can circle the soup base and then what you want to add in it. Um, so this is what I got. Um, I, I have like what? Pig ear, um, pork skin, pork blood, radish. I put radish and then I put like a mixture of soup. Um, and then also you can pick the type of noodles you want. Yeah, this one, 
definitely was too rich at the end, but, but was good in the beginning. So I feel like this is like the law of diminishing utility. It just kind of went down. But overall, like, it's not bad. Um, yeah, usually when I eat noodles, I also like to have some of the soup, but today I just can't. Like, this soup is just too heavy. Guys, it's like, it's like 11, wait, it's like 11.39 p.m. and now we're out at a place we eating. Yeah, oops. Oh, well. Yeah, it's, it's Winston from Malaysia again.
。那这个一个人吃，昨天，前两位都来吃了，别人都没有红包。因为我走走走走很久，我打电话，我接电话，我要去打给你找人吃冰棍了。所以呢，就走走走，不能吃的话，不然就没吃。就下来一个那个炒我，西西洋我米跟那个。The beef is really soft and smooth and tender. Um, that's like my favorite part of this dish. I don't know how to cook it. Every time I have it, like, it's meat is always really tender. I don't know how they do it. Um, I mean this is the first time I'm having at this place, but um, it lived up to my expectation. Um, yeah. Okay. Our fourth thing just got here is frogs. Fried frogs. And this is spicy actually. This is more spicy than the snail, which looks spicier. This doesn't look spicy, but it is. Because they fried it with these. Another thing just got here. This is um pig ear, right? Yeah, pig ear right here. So you can see the cartilage. It's really hot. Hey guys, today is June twenty third. Um, this is my last day in Hong Kong. I'm flying to Thailand this afternoon at six. Um, so yeah, I'm having my last breakfast here in Hong Kong. Um, I really like congee, so I just walked about two minutes from my hostel to a random restaurant. Um, and I ordered congee. I feel like in Hong Kong, there's so much good food that you don't really need to use Yelp or anything. You just walk in a restaurant with a lot of locals, like 90% of the time is good. Like you can't go wrong. So I mean, this looks like there's quite a few people. And then so yeah, I ordered their congee and let's see how it goes. Again with congee, like every time. Oh my god, it's good though. Like the soup is is savory, and then again for congee, I like it when they cook the the rice so much that you don't really taste the texture of the rice anymore. It just kind of all kind of melt um, in your mouth. Um, I like that a lot because this is like comfort food for me. Like if I get sick or like I don't feel well, like sometimes I just don't want to eat anything too oily or I don't want to chew too much because I'm just sick and lazy and just want to lie there. Yeah, kanji is like the thing to eat. Okay, it's really hot. I seriously burned myself. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Take two. Mm, it's good. For kanji, you've got to eat it from the edge of the bowl because it cools faster. I don't know why I took that bite from the middle. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm. 
It's definitely cooler from the edge of the bowl. This is called a thousand year old egg, which I don't know how to explain it. Um, I like it a lot. Um, like people put it in their dishes, you can do a whole dish or you can put it in congee, it adds a lot of flavor. Um, so yeah, I like this. I'm gonna try this first. So I feel like for this one, they didn't cook it as long as the ones I usually have. Usually, it's cooked to a point where the egg kind of melts and is softer. Whereas this one, it's you can still see the rigid edges of the egg, um, which means it's chewy and the texture is more like bouncy. Um, I don't know, like it's not bad. It's just I'm used to eating the softer ones. Mm. Mm. I had a slice of ginger in that bite. Let's pick to it. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to meat. So big. And steamy hot. I'm expecting this meat to be tender and smooth. Um, yeah, we'll see if it lives up to the expectation. This is like probably one of the most tender pork I've had actually. So for pork, I hate it when it's dry and stale. This one's just so tender. It's almost like the the gan chang yu, the fried noodle I had last night with the beef, like it almost tastes like that kind of texture. It's so smooth. That was good. Mm. I really like the ginger in it. Like for me, like the ginger helps to get rid of like the, the weird meaty raw flavor of the meat, and it kind of just kind of brightens up the entire dish. Um, yeah, definitely insane. I feel like in a lot of cuisines, like especially Asian cuisines, like ginger plays such a big role in it. Like a lot of times people don't realize that the importance of ginger until like the flavor is gone and then you realize the entire dish is just more dull without it. So yeah, ginger, you see like this like a slice of ginger? Hmm. 